crazy chef and all that. Right, we're approaching uh, the Christmas season and I'm going to show you the video again on preparing certainly an English version of roast chicken for Christmas. Um, if, if you've got two or three people, chicken is much sweeter than turkey, but whatever your choice is, use your choice. Stick some bacon rashers over the breast before you put it in the oven so it doesn't burn the top of the breast. Alternatively, you could use some silver foil. Anyway, I'll show you that video shortly. Um, now we're coming to the end of the year and we're coming into a new year. Um, we've actually produced another cookbook. This is the better cookbook. It's done as an EPUB or PDF. It may be some printed version later on. The Crazy Chef Cookbook. And it covers most of the recipes or all of the recipes we've got videos for. We've got various sections. Uh, what you keep in your larder. Um, we've got Okay, we've got a larder section, we've got a, set, a, breakfast, a breakfast section, we've got a, a, a fish a section, a pasta section, a meat section, and we've even got a vegetarian stroke vegan section. So we've got some nice, and the recipes are in more detail than what you see on the, on the videos, but I've also got a link, we've also got a link to the videos, so if you're going, I don't know, Cream of cauliflower soup, there we are, cream of cauliflower soup. And where we are we? Video on this link. Open. Trying to do Galaxy Productions crazy show. <laughs> so we've got a nice new cookbook. Good recipes, nutritional, nutritional recipes and done simply for people on the go. And we're also bringing out, adding all our soups together and adding some extra soups to have the Crazy Chef soup book. And because we now have a ninja blender and there's not much online about ninjas, we're going to have the Crazy Chef ninja blender book, the Crazy Chef ninja book. So I hope all you have a, all you guys have a happy holiday season and hope you're not suffering too much by Covid or lockdown and let's start a new year with something fresh and something new and some brand new recipes and thank you all your all you guys who subscribe please subscribe because really 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 I need by the end of the year I'd love to have a thousand subscriptions but please subscribe to the channel Okay, on to the recipe in a second. I have a happy holidays from the Crazy Chef. Crazy Chef Productions. Right, today we're going to do a, a Christmas dinner of chicken, some vegetables, some stuffing, some bits and pieces, and some Yorkshire puddings. I prepared a 2k, 2 kilogram chicken, large chicken. I've put potatoes around the edge for roasting, i put some stuffing around the edge and I've got two slices of bacon across the top to stop the top scorching rather than putting foil on the top. I've actually used goose fat as the cooking medium and I've just put a little bit of olive oil over the top of the potatoes. Now as it's a two hour chicken job I put the potatoes in straight away. Quite often I would pre-boil the potatoes and then steam them with a bit of turmeric. So I've just put them in as is because it's going to be in the oven by the time I obviously take the potatoes out earlier. In the um, vegetables I'm steaming some Brussels sprouts, some turnip and some carrot. Whatever seasonal vegetables you like, but most people use uh, Brussels sprouts. Now I've actually scored the Brussels sprout with a crisscross score underneath. Now some people like to score, some people don't like to score, some people think it makes it slushy, but I just watch the watch how they cook and I just score it because I think it's probably makes them quicker and more in line with the time taken for the carrots and the turnips. But okay, so I'm now gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna put it 200 degrees in a fan oven for I'll allow I'll set the timer for one and a half hours, but it will go over that 
but I'd sooner check it and don't want to overcook it. Right, I'm here, we're, we've gone 45 minutes or so, I'm now going to take the chicken out again and baste it, check the baste the cook. What's the, when you open the oven, always watch the steam because I'm wearing glasses and it steams my glasses up. <laughs> Right, look at that lovely, lovely, lovely jubbly. Just turn the um, potatoes around a bit so they don't stick. Turn the uh, stuffing round. Oh, it's best to take a little bit, of, little bit of something out so you can have a taste. <laughs> I'll take the potato. The potatoes are done. I'll actually take the potatoes out. Um, this is not, there's another hour to go technically, so, um, but it's not, it's not, it's, it's, um, it's nearly almost there. Right, I'll just baste it a bit. Baste it two or three times in two hours, just, just to, just to baste it, get the, get the uh, tops of the potatoes brown. Right, it's so to go, perhaps like that. Done the gravy, lovely tasty white wine gravy. There's a bit of stuffing in it. There's uh, oxo cubes, uh, nor cubes, other stock cubes, and some white wine. I'm now gonna take the chicken out to check it, but I'm gonna take the uh, roast potatoes out because that'll be done. I'm now gonna stick them in a, in a bowl. I just put some kitchen paper in the bottom to uh, absorb any fat. Okay. Now I'm going to take the potatoes out, which are done, they're very brown. Just check, yeah, they're done nice and soft. Nice and soft potatoes. Take them out. Put them into a separate bowl. I'll then put it into, put it into a, a heated, top oven is heated. And then I'm going to take the uh, stuffing out, which is a bit juicy. And then I'm going to take the uh, bacon out which protected the top of the chicken and I'm just going to double check the chicken get hold of the leg if, you, if it breaks apart when you push it you know it's done legs are done going to the breast the breast is done just a little fraction more time just a fraction more that lovely piece of soft chicken I'll have that in a minute put that separate put that separate on my side Okay. Raws taste a bit as a go. Being a cook, you have to tear a half. We've taken the chicken out. I'm now going to, well, there's the, the roast chicken. Now I'm going to uh, put it onto a, a, a plate. And we'll get rid of the, uh, I'm going to use the, uh, the duck fat, or goose, goose fat. I'll put, pour that back into it. The jar and we'll use that again on another time. There we are. The vegetables are done, the gravy's done. All we need to do is play it up. So right, we have the chicken. I've taken a leg and some breast, put it on the plate, we've got some the bacon, uh, two Yorkshire puddings, some stuffing, some roast potatoes, some uh, Brussels sprout, bit of carrot, bit of turnip. And there we are already. Just about to put the gravy on. Lovely white wine gravy, and the uh, oven's been turned off. But I put the I put the chicken and the remainder of the veg and the Yorkshire's in the oven. They will cook a little bit more, but everything's turned off. But it'll be there for another day to have it cold on another day. So the beer prosecco. Cheers.